Hi, my name is Dr. Yan Tat Wong, and I'm the course director for the new biomedical engineering course at Monash University. So I actually teach across engineering and medicine, and I lead a lab called the Monash Neurobionics Laboratory, where we're designing medical implants to help the blind see again, to help quadriplegics regain movement. And so these are the types of things that you can learn if you were to undertake a biomedical engineering course. So what is biomedical engineering? So biomedical engineers work at the interface between healthcare and technology. And so anywhere where you can kind of think of where medicine meets engineering or where there's a medical device in a hospital, a biomedical engineer was involved. In recent times, we hear about COVID and the vaccines. Biomedical engineers have helped in terms of designing the devices that manufacture these vaccines, test these vaccines, roll out these vaccines. And what you'll learn is how to apply electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, materials engineering to this healthcare sector. So why would I say come study at Monash University? Well, so we're a global leader in engineering, and this is reflected in our rankings. We have world-leading facilities, and this includes the Monash Institute of Medical Engineering, and this is a great institute that is led by clinicians and brings together clinicians from the hospitals with our engineering students. And so we often have seed grants where we have students come in and work on projects. The clinicians will lay out problems that they see, and we have our students come up with innovative designs to help solve these problems and really make meaningful impact. We have our new Woodside uh, building for technology, and this is a great building where students can work hands-on with projects. We have 3D printers, we have computer simulation designs, our uh, academics and teachers are in there with the students. And it's a really collaborative space, and what's great about it is that this back and forth between students where they can work on things, try a design, come talk to us, see what works, what doesn't, and reiterate that process. So it's a great hands-on learning experience. We're also really close to CSIRO, just across the road, which is a real big innovation hub for, for biomedical engineering. And you know they take a lot of our students on. They, they love to do research with our students. We also have the new Victorian Heart Hospital, which is being built on the campus of Monash University. And this is a great opportunity for our students. This is going to be one of the biggest heart hospitals uh, in the Southern Hemisphere, if not the world. And what this means is that it just opens up all these opportunities for internships, opens up opportunities for our students to do their final year projects, these large projects, one year projects with clinicians at the heart hospital, with engineers in the heart hospital, to really make a difference in terms of designing artificial hearts designing new cell cultures to design new ECG machines to do wireless monitoring and things like that. So really great opportunities for our students. We also have on campus some really exciting research groups. So we have the Monash Vision Group, the Monash Neurobionics Laboratory. These are research laboratories where we have students working every year where they get experience designing medical implants. We also have a really core group of students who are passionate about biomedical engineering. And this is not just biomedical engineers, this is students all across the university. And this is the Monash Young MedTech Innovators. And so the, the faculty gives money to, the, to this student-led organization and we have scholarships where they can work with clinicians over the summer, design new medical implants, and we've seen some of these uh, projects move on into the kind of the startup world, make an impact in different people's lives. We also have the co-op paid internships, and this is a great opportunity once again to get hands-on experience. And that's what I want to emphasize, you know, this hands-on experience in biomedical engineers so that you can come out and you're ready to work, you're ready to build implants, you're ready to change people's lives. So what do we study in biomedical engineering? You would have hopefully seen that in engineering we have a common first year. Well, biomedical engineering is slightly different because what we're trying to do is give you this integration of medicine and engineering from your first year. So what that means is that we've handpicked the units that we think will give you the best uh, leg forward as a biomedical engineer, and you can learn from your first year the physiology and pair that with the engineering. And broadly speaking, this means that you'll learn about cells, tissue, the biggest systems, the physiology, how our bodies work. And then you'll learn about the computer engineering, and electrical engineering, how I can design circuits to apply to, to restore systems in our body. You'll learn about uh, chemical engineering and materials about how to fix or design implants that will last longer in your body. Um, we'll have units that will be focused solely on uh, implantable devices and how we actually make medical devices. And so it's kind of a nice, well-rounded degree from the, the physiology, the engineering, and then the devices that we design. 
So in terms of career outcomes, biomedical engineering is one of the fastest growing careers worldwide. As you can see with Apple Watches and Fitbits, people want to know about their lives and quantify their lives. And so biomedical engineers can really help this by designing these groundbreaking devices that measure our hearts, can measure our lung function, can aid in these, in these ailments. And so most of our uh, students will go off and work in this med tech sector, working with medical devices, whether that's designing, inventing these medical devices, maintaining them, um, having them work in and operate in hospitals. We also have a lot of startups that are happening, not just in Melbourne, but worldwide. And this is kind of ex exemplified by Elon Musk even joining in on the, the startup in the biomedical engineering. So he has a new company called Neuralink where they're trying to restore uh, movement to quadriplegics. And this is a great little company um, that, is, that is really kind of getting the field excited. And so you can kind of imagine if Elon Musk is getting in here, how many other startups are kind of uh, 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 happening in this space. Um, we also have a lot of students working in the biomedical instrumentation field, uh, in consulting, as well as in the research and development of devices. So I'm really excited to, to hopefully meet you if you decide to come to, to Monash and come to our open day. Uh, we're all really passionate about teaching um, biomedical engineering and engineering in general. And hopefully if you decide to come to Monash, you'll, you'll see me teaching as well as in research. Uh, we have a lot of students come volunteer in our labs and it's just a great way to, to see kind of this next generation of leaders um, come through, through Monash. So uh, nice, to, nice to talk to you and hopefully I'll get to see you uh, in open day or when you start your degree.